Hey guys, welcome back. <sighs> so, what are we making today? We are making the other into resin mold that I got along with our hippo, hello hippo, uh, mold. The only difference between the, no, it's not a faceted crystal bird mold, okay? It's not faceted at all. Um, it's smooth, just like the hippo. The difference with this one is, is it's matte. So, um, it is a, a frosted crystal, if you will. Um, so I have about two and a half ounces, because I measured it, and it is a two and a half ounce mold. Uh, so I have two and a half ounces of my Fuji Tim One to One. And I am going to add some chameleon powder to it. Now, even though it is a matte mold, I still want to do that because I want that sort of Ah, uh, what do you what do you call it? Um, not milk glass, but uh, you know that sort of chatoyant iridescence from within it. So I'm going to be using my Merry Dancers uh, chameleon powder, and I'm just going to tap some in here. And I think that this will be a lovely color make it. And the Merry Dancers, as you can see as I stir, it shifts from blues to greens to golds. And uh, it's just a really nice, nice color. Um, or colors, blend of colors. Let's call it that. Um, now this interresin mold is one of their, again, handmade molds. Um, so I'm not going to spray it with any alcohol. I'm not going to uh, use any heat on it or anything like that because albeit this particular mold was not terribly expensive um, it is you know they're pricier than other molds um, that aren't handmade uh, I believe this one that you know because I, I bought it I, it wasn't sent to me um, I think this one cost me about I think it was $24 but um, I will put the link in the description box because I do have a 20% discount code uh, for anti resin that you are welcome to use. Gives you 20% off of your entire order. Uh, that's their handmade molds, regular molds, mica powders, aurora powders, anything, you know, as long as it doesn't say that you can't. Combine coupon codes, you can use your 20% discount that I will link for you. Alright, and since this is a matte mold, I don't have to be quite as pedantic about uh, bubbles. So, uh, that is a good thing. <laughs> and plus, I like I, I like the, the, the matte molds. I think that they're they're, they're quite pretty, you know. Uh, it just gives uh, I don't know, an elegance to things that I enjoy. Alright, so let's get this poured in. And I am just going to do a little at a time because even though it is a matte mold and you're not going to be seeing, you know, bubbles as much, it does have detail on it. It, it has a little beak in his head. Uh, then I want to make sure that we don't have any bubbles in that would impede the formation of his beak and also his tail down here at the end. But I want to make sure we don't get any bubbles in. Because the tail on this mold is quite quite long, um, as you'll see when we demold it. So, squish, squish, squish. Encourage those bubbles to go elsewhere. And we're just going to fill them up.
might help if I hold on to my stick, right? <laughs> Well, the water measurement trick has failed me again. I need more than I think I did. Not much more, but a little bit more. So I am going to make up a little bit more resin. And I will return to you shortly. Be right back. It's time to get them out. Let's see how our birdie turned out. Oh, super easy to demold. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? Just so delicate and stunning. I love his little upturned beak and his tail with the little swoop at the end. Oh, that's just, just gorgeous. Look at him. Oh, I love it. I have a little bit of trimming to do around his little, little buns. Simply done with some scissors. Let's get him trimmed. That looks, he's just so pretty. In. His little head is cocked to the side. I really like that a lot. Yay. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think that he's just, just lovely. So, one project that I may do is as I did with the heart, the winged heart, I might take him outside and give him a spray with some uh, lacquer, some clear lacquer, and uh, make a shiny version of him as well, just to have a shiny and a matte. So, let me know what you guys think. I think he's just adorable. I'm going to prop him up for you so you can see if I can get him to stay right. I really can't, so never mind. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care. Cheers.